Hey, in this video, I'm not gonna be the only thing on camera that's gonna be a good view because we are in Buena Vista, Colorado, which stands for good view. But hey, if you wanna learn everything you need to know about the you know, recreation, the shopping, the old town feel, the history, why, Buena Vista is on everybody's radar. This is the spot and we're about to get into it. So if you wanna learn all about that, let's go. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Sean Murphy and on this channel we make videos about what it's like to live in Colorado. It's simple as that. That's what we do. Today I have special guest, Signe Congdon, Asian on our team, making her first YouTube appearance on yes. the channel. So I know some of you guys on the channel too, you're all about these mountain towns and you're like, hey, where is it? We've been doing like videos on like dating, on overrated things going on in Denver. Well, we could turn that frown upside down because we are in an awesome mountain town. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, we are in the downtown area. And if you look beyond us, you're going to just see all kinds of things going on, outdoor activities. You're going to see like dirt bikes, you're going to see rafts, you see kayaks. So it is located in Chaffee County in this big old valley surrounded by these beautiful peaks. But the downtown area was established in the 1800s, mainly for like agriculture, because they had a bunch of water. Are you learning anything? You already know yeah. all this. <laughs> but a bunch of water up here, a lot of flat usable land and tons and tons of sunshine. So it was a, an agricultural area. And then they brought the railroad coming through it in like late 1800s. They started getting all the electricity, all the lights, all the telephones, all the things necessary to make an awesome mountain town. Mm -hmm. And you are kind of out here by yourself in the middle of this valley. Your next town is another mountain town that's going to be actually smaller than this area. But if you go north, you have Aspen Northwest, you go northeast, you got Breckenridge. So this is the town map and you don't see a lot of these in town maps that also have all the hiking trails and biking trails on the map as well. But that's what it's about. This is the Arkansas River where they'll have all the, the rafting. A lot of them will, will set off from here. What happened? Uh, I don't know. But, and then you can see all the, all the parks and outdoor areas. So um, yeah, there's still like, if you're in this town or near this town, you got all the amenities that you need besides like, you don't have like a Costco and a Walmart and things like that, but I think you'll be fine. This isn't like a huge mountain town area. It's more like outdoors activities, but an hour or so drive, you have just world-class ski resorts. One of the major rivers that runs through this area is the Arkansas River. So lots of people go water rafting. There's also Browns Canyon, which also um, a lot of people go up to water raft and all that good stuff. So lots of things to do here. It's a fairly touristy, place, especially the downtown area, you could, you know, rent the kayaks, rent the bikes, rent everything that you need. Yeah, they'll have the rafting trips. Browns Canyon is just always, always, always popping with rafting trips. It's one of like the main adventures to do in the area. So I'm with B at Wilderness Aware Rafting. It's a really fun operation. We've got a lot of options here locally on the Arkansas River. What's great is that we have a couple options for like a family float trip. We've got our most popular Browns Canyon, which is a national monument, moderate whitewater. And then we even have two different high class sections that we can raft on. And we even do multi days, two to five day trips. We also operate on multiple rivers throughout the state and even in other states. But here in Buena Vista, it's one of the most popular places to come and raft because there's so many options. And we of course operate from May all the way until the first week of September. And here we are just closing down from our trips for the day. Right, so when we're booking the trip and getting everybody checked in, our office staff will give them a brief orientation of how to get prepared and what to expect from the day. Even before you get out on the water, you've got a lot of great info about how to stay safe out there. And the guides are out there prepping you with a nice paddle talk before you get on the water. So whether you've had experience or not, there's a lot of great options here. And even if it's like a small group, like you just team peep match people up with a large group, fill the raft type That's thing. That's right. So, so we, yeah, we're running either 13 or 14 foot rafts and typically seven people max and sometimes you'll get joined up with other groups you know we'll even run trips and there's half day trips full day trips 
um, depending on the section. And what's like the, the price range on these things? So price range for a half day, you know, around 100 for most of the trips, and then for a full day about 150. And if it's a higher class section, it'll be a little bit higher around like 160, 170. Yeah, anything else you think that people should know? No, we just hope that you come on out and, you know, there's a lot of different sections. So if you start, let's say, with a float trip, you should definitely come back and try all the sections. There you go. That's what's up. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Food is great. Just looking up places to eat, you're going to get something super local, good beers, good Colorado beers, good patios, and good people, I say, because like like cool super mountain friendly. people, yeah. super friendly, yeah. And they're, they're used to dealing with like idiot tourists like us, so. But the vibe is mo mostly like, yeah, like this place is sweet, come hang out, have a good time, get after it, have a beer. One of the main attractions here is the Deer Hammer Distilling Company. They brew wine, so you can go and taste their wine that's brewed here locally. And it's a small town too, so what is about 3,000 people, we said that live here, just Under about 3,000. That just seems like so small, but like the, the vibe is it's not big. About 25% of the households do have children under the age of 18. They usually have like a more novice level experience for the kids, and so it's definitely a family friendly environment. So if you are raising children here, they are going to Buena Vista, uh, Buena Vista High, School. High School. It's got about 250 students currently, and so it's really small, but the ratio between teachers and students is 12 to 1. So you'll definitely get that kind of culture of a smaller feel and smaller town, smaller schooling system. I see your kids are going to be like rad, and I'm, I'm a city boy, Youngstown, Ohio. My clients that have kids and they're mountain kids, they just keep seem a little bit cooler, a little bit more edgier, outdoorsy, fun, rad. So uh, if you want to like insert your kids, if you're like, I need to get away from the, the woke culture or the congestion of the city living and I want to raise my kids in a different environment, like towns like this, thumbs up to it. The community shows up to the games and hosts fundraisers in order to get those kids being able to travel for sports as well. So it's a tight community and everyone seems like, you know, they're all fending for each other. So yeah, yeah, a lot of, a lot of town pride. You could just feel it exuding from the people that live here. And they also, they hate when I come into town and make videos like this about their town because they're like, hey man, why don't you just shut up and keep that under wraps? But I won't because you guys, because I'm here for you. <laughs> this is very grand. Did you go to school here? I, I went to Buena Vista High School. You know, it's funny because it's such a small school. Uh -huh. When I was there, there was about 300 kids in the high school. And then okay. I went to college and my friends were like, oh, there was like 2,000 kids in my yeah. high school. And I'm like, okay, okay that's we're my not, town. We're different. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sports have always been kind of a big thing here. We have photos of like basketball teams back in like the 20s and 30s. How fun. When this was the school. Okay. And we had all 12 grades in this building. First through eighth would have been down here with two grades per classroom. So uh -huh. this would have been like third and fourth grade in here. Then all the high schoolers were upstairs. I don't know, we have so many weird little stories like how we stole the courthouse from Granite. In 1879, when Univista was formed, we split, formed Chaffee County. Granite was the county seat at that point. BV became bigger, so in 79, we had a vote for where the county seat should be. BV, more people, we won. Right. Granite felt that the election had been rigged and so refused to give it up. We went and in the middle of the night, some guys on like a hand crank train car went up there in the middle of the night and stole all the files. Brought them back down here. That was in 79. This building was finished in 82. So for three years, they hid all the like county records in like local safes and oh, like really? businesses and stuff so that Granite couldn't steal That's them back. Gangster shit right there. That's part of the reason why like we have 16 inch thick walls on this building. Is there gangster in this town? Here, yeah. <laughs> we're taking it. Let's continue the tour. Hold on real quick, I know what these are. Uh, they go, they used to go on top of telephone poles, right? The, the, the metal part was underneath of those, right? Like the conductor yeah. part? So it wasn't good. Yeah, so it's yeah. like insulator. Insulator. The more you know. All right, so like we said, tons of good, rich history and good stories up in Buena Vista. 
Buena Vista. I'm always, I'm going to say it wrong. I'm just used to Buena, Buena, Buena. Buena. There Buena. we go. Well, let's talk a little bit about housing. If you're going to live up here, like we said, there's not a ton of uh, housing up here, but most of it is going to be like single family detached homes. There are some condos out there. Uh, most of them are going to be between like 900 to 1200 square feet and you're looking like between 350 to 450,000. But like I said, most of it is going to be single family detached homes and then you just get into are you like down by the town area? Are you up in the hills a little bit where it feels a little bit more mountainy? Because that will affect the price and the type of like experience that you're going to be having. So there are some that you're going to see that are under 450,000. Most of those are going to be manufactured homes. If you're cool with that, cool. Well, we could help you buy a manufactured home. Um, but for traditional frame houses that you're looking at here, you're looking about 1,800 square feet is the average. And then pricing from like 450 plus, the, the median price is right at 700,000. And I mean, they go all the way up to, you know, $4 million if you want like 6,000 square feet and 480 acres. And by the way, that's what we, if you haven't picked up on it, we are a real estate team. And if you're looking to find the perfect neighborhood, the perfect town, the perfect house for your situation, looking to make a in-state or cross-country move, we got your back. We love helping you out. That's why we do the channel, because we love you know, ex explaining what we know and why we love Colorado. So if you're looking for that guide, you gotta call us. You gotta send us an email, give us a call, text, squirrel by fence, golden eagle, <laughs> ram, uh, like owl. owl, whatever, like whatever, however it works best for you. We're happy to help. Everybody loves us here.